So we're on question 19 of our multiple choice. So it's asking, so it's giving us the rectangular prism picture. It has a square base and a volume of 1,728 centimeter cubed. Which of the, which of these values of H and L produce the prism with the smallest surface area? So if I have a square base, so it's, we basically have to narrow down the options, right? So if we have, so what we know is we know our surface area of, of rectangular prism is 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. Now, because we're given this, we're given the information that this is actually a square base, we can actually simplify this formula. We can say it's actually 2L squared because it's two times L times L, right? Because L is now the square base, which means uh, they have the same dimensions, so the same length. So we can say it's 2L squared plus 2LH plus 2LH, right? So this is this just repeats, 2LH and 2LH. So that are, it kind of simplifies your formula a little bit. So now what we have to do is we have to figure out which of them has, has a smaller surface area, which means we have to do go by it through just plugging it in, right? So let's do it for, this is for option A. Option A, we have this formula, so it's 2L squared plus 2LH plus 2LH, right? So in this case, our height for option A is 108 and our length is four, right? So we can say it's two times four squared plus two times four times height here is 108 plus two times four times 108. We can take our calculator, we can throw that all in. So four squared is 16 times two is 32 plus two times 108 here is 216 times four which will give us times four, 864. And this is also 864, right? So which will give us a total of 864 plus 864 plus 32, gives us 1760. Zero, and this is just centimeter. So it's for our, this is for surface area. So we're looking for the least surface area, right? So that's option A. Let's look at option B now. Option B, we have, uh, let's see. So it's again, 2L squared plus two, sorry, surface area, 2L squared plus 2LH plus 2LH. In this case, our, our height here is 48 and our length here is six. So we're gonna do two, six squared, squared plus two times six times height here is 48 plus two times six times 48. That's gonna equal six squared is 36 times two is 72 plus, let's see, I have two times six here is 12 times 48, I have 576 plus 576, which means that's gonna equal, I add all those up, so 72 plus 576 plus 576 will give me 1224. CM, that's for option B. So let's look at option C now. So option C. See, I have, again, two, so it's, so it equals two L squared plus 2LH plus 2LH. In this case, I have a height of 27 and a length of eight. So length here is eight squared plus two times eight times 27 plus two times eight times 27. Eight squared here is 64 plus times two is 128 plus two times eight times 27 is 432 and 432. I can add all those up. They're gonna give me 128 plus 432 plus 432. It's gonna be 992. So in this case, C is actually C has my lowest surface area. But let's check let's check for let's check for D now. So for option D, I have 2L squared plus 2LH plus 2LH. Um, it's going to equal 2. In this case, I have a height of 12 and a length of 12. So 12 squared plus 
2 times 12 times 12 plus uh, 2 times 12 times 12. So that's going to equal 2 times 12 squared is 2 times 144, which is 288. Plus, I have 2 times 12 times 12, which is also 288, and this is 288. So 288 plus 288 plus 288, which will have to equal is 288 plus 288 plus 288 equals 864, which means option D has my lowest surface area, which means option D is the correct answer here.